hate being pinned more than the male officers do. Mm. <clears throat> it's like they get a big time attitude about it whenever somebody puts a camera on them. It is for years they worked they worked and they worked to become police officers and then finally when they when they were hired on as police officers they feel that they have to prove that they're as equal to them as the men are and uh, I think a lot of them are afraid that if they're being filmed and stuff it'll show they're not as equal as the male officers I think that's like a bunch of bullshit. But I think that's what goes through their mind. Well, it's what, it may, what, may be what goes through their mind, but it's bullshit. Yeah. like the one that we ran into on 122nd mm -hmm. I've known her for like three years and uh, she doesn't really hold an attitude a lot of them do though yeah she's like oh hi Bob <laughs> but there's a lot of them out here that would just stare at you and like how dare you film me And the qualities in the mind, not in the, uh, not in the uh, abilities. A lot of them have the same abilities the men do. All right, how's it going? Pretty good. Stolen van, a lady was caught sleeping in it, so she's being arrested for unauthorized use of a motor vehicle. Uh, okay. Wondering what the hell was going on here. Yeah, and me and him are cop watchers. We film the police to make sure they don't violate people's rights. Right, that's and, what I thought you were doing. <clears throat> They like to violate people's rights all the fucking time. Oh, yeah. I put the camera on. <laughs> Thank you. I have two. I got this one. I got a body cam, too. Oh, right on. Just to prove that, uh, I like to wear it just to prove that it can be worn. Mm -hmm. You know, but Portland police are like, no, we don't want to wear it. We don't want to wear them. And, uh, their union's totally against it. Now and then... They can't catch themselves fucking up on camera, though. Yeah. And, but what they, what they did get the city to agree is that any videotaping on the body cam is the officer's personal property. And can only be accessed with the officer's permission or the super... or by the officer's supervisor. That's bullshit. <laughs> which will lead them in the court real quick because if I want a copy of officer's body camera and uh, the officer says no that's that body camera's paid for and 
paid for by the city, worn by a city employee, and therefore falls under um, being able to fall under public information. Yeah. <clears throat> well, hell, we pay their taxes, wages, and we buy all their equipment. Yeah. Not like he'd do anything worthwhile. No. <laughs> but then people don't have constitutional rights in this piece of shit country anymore. That's true. Yeah, they'll say, well, can I search your bag? No. Okay. Um, well, why can't I search your bag? Well, because I don't want you to search my bag. Okay. Then person spits on the ground. Now i got reason to arrest you, and I'm going to search your bag anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yep, exactly. You know. But that guy that arrested, molested a little child, he can walk free. Yeah. What got me is Micah Rhodes, mm -hmm. which is uh, part of Portland Resistance. Yeah. And he's also part of Antifa. Yeah. Uh, sat there and uh, got convicted four four times of having sex with minors. His youngest, the youngest was nine, the oldest was seventeen. Oh God. Got probation. No way. Yeah, he got five years probation. Oh, that's bullshit. Okay, one of the conditions of his probation was that he was to stay away from minors. Yeah. I videotaped him uh, during the ICE protest, standing mm -hmm. on top of the um, trolley uh, place where, you know, it's a, like a small house thing for the trolley where yeah. people can yeah. sit. He was up there putting tarps over, and there was children underneath it. Huh. I videotaped that, and... Uh, so um, I put on my YouTube channel, a friend of mine made a copy of it, sent it to his PO, mm -hmm. uh, which contacted Portland Police, which contacted Homeland Security. Then Homeland Security got two pictures, one of him talking to a 15-year-old and one of them standing outside of a tent that says, uh, Children's Safe Zone. Oh. <laughs> He got two years for that. Good. Should have been all five. <laughs> plus another few years. Yeah. I really wish he would have been in California because he would have he would have struck out on that. Uh, California, they're really weird anymore. Mm-hmm. If you got a gun, you can't have ammo. <laughs> you know? Yeah. How good is a gun going to be for self-defense? Right. Well, you guys have a good night. All right, you too. See, this is another part I don't like. Them uh, just sitting there with a the suspect in the car. How you doing? That's the part that irritates me too. It's just like, mm hmm. Computers work a lot faster. Yeah.
next. Hmm? See, so I wouldn't doubt it, they'd probably fucking turn next. Probably. Yeah, it's on the computers looking at her as she's walking down the street. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that'd be a hell of a video. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Old youngster ain't liking it. Hmm? Said old youngster right there ain't liking it. He keeps cutting his eyes over. Mm-hmm. Ah, no, that's what I was expecting. Yep. <laughs> oh, I told you. That's what I expect. The owner got lost on his way here. Uh-oh. But he's back in route. Is he going to file charges or kick her loose? Nope, just the first charges. Mm. Big shame, man. Stolen car. Yeah. I seen a stolen car over there on 122nd. Someone decided not to file charges. Yeah. It's up to the person, right? Yeah. Whether, whether or not you want to be a victim. Hey, Dylan. Oh, pretty good. see the officers letting them have items out of stolen goods and most of the time they were taking it in mm -hmm. personal property personal property of the other thing. Mm -hmm. 